Yo, what is good everyone? Welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to be breaking down the NHL DFS slate for Wednesday, December 21st. And we got ourselves a seven game slate here tonight where I'm going to go through a couple of my favorite line stacks, some of my favorite individual plays, and some of my favorite value plays. And then we'll wrap up the video talking a little prize picks. With that being said, let's dive into my spreadsheet here. And we're going to kick things off here like we always do in the top left hand corner corner with those highest implied game totals where you can see three of these games are coming in with an implied total of six and a half goals two games coming in at six goals even and then two games coming in at five and a half goals and then take a look down here at the Vegas odds where you can see each team who's favored to win tonight with that being said let's dive into a couple of line stacks that I like here for tonight starting with that first line for the Dallas Stars we got Hint centering Robertson and Pavelski now stacking up this Dallas Stars first line when they play at home is something that I've done all year long and something I will continue to do until further notice these guys are awesome when they play at home I mean really they been great all year long but the numbers that they put up at home are hard to ignore these three have now combined for 26 goals 35 assists 61 points in just 15 home games averaging over four points per game and it's a very strongly correlated line stack here as well with all three of those guys playing up on the number one power play and I do like their matchup at home here tonight against the Edmonton Oilers who've allowed 3.42 goals per game this season with a penalty kill that's hit at just a 72 and a half percent rate now, honestly, with this second line stack here, I almost went with Florida's first line of Luce Terrain and Reinhardt and Verhage. You can see I got two of those guys on the spreadsheet still, but ultimately I did pivot to this second line here for Vegas of Carlson, Smith, and Marcia so because I do like the matchup better for them at home against the Arizona Coyotes, who are, again, one of the worst teams in the NHL this year, continue to struggle defensively. They've allowed 3.63 goals per game already this season with a penalty kill that's hit at just a 7 77% rate. Now we're seeing Marcia So and Riley Smith play up on the number one power play right now. Carlson's playing down on the second, but these three do log big minutes together five on five. And actually the chemistry between these three is very real as well. Been playing together as a line for multiple years now. Very rarely does Vegas shuffle them up and they don't always put up the biggest numbers on a nightly basis, but they do play very consistently. Now folks, before we dive into some of my favorite individual plays here, two things. Number one, if you could like this video and subscribe to the channel, I would greatly appreciate that. And number two, just a reminder here on the vacation holiday side of things, I will have a video out for tomorrow's Thursday NHL slate, but I will not have anything out for the Friday NHL slate, as I do have family coming in for the holidays here and staying with me through the weekend. All right, now diving into some of these individual plays here, we're going to kick it off with the forwards. And honestly, there were a number of different top tier forwards that I could have highlighted here, but I feel like I haven't talked about the Colorado Avalanche enough as of late and Mika Rantanen has been playing some good hockey ever since Nathan McKinnon went down with his injury. It's been about eight games now since Matt got hurt in that game against Philadelphia and you can see here Mikko's piled up seven goals during that stretch of games averaging around four four and a half shots on net per game. We're still seeing him play up on that first line play on the number one power play and log in massive minutes as you can see there off to the right hand side and they got a good matchup at home here tonight against the Montreal Canadiens who've allowed three and a half goals per game this season with a penalty kill that's hit at a 79% rate. Next I got Matt Boldy there of the Minnesota Wild. Now I like Zuccarello here tonight. I like Kaprizov obviously but both of those guys are very expensive. You can even mix in a Sam Steele in the low 4k range who's currently centering those guys but I kind of like the price tag here on Matt Boldy and honestly it's probably still a little too expensive but this is a great matchup here against the Anaheim Ducks who've allowed 4.15 goals per game this season, the most in the NHL with a penalty kill that's hit at just a 67.8% rate, second worst in the NHL just behind the Vancouver Canucks. We're seeing Boldy play on the second line right now, but plays up on that number one power play, so a lot of opportunity for the kid. Now, if you look at his last 10 games here, he's only got two goals, four assists, six points, but this is someone who does have multiple point upside, especially in a matchup like this, and he'll probably fly under the radar a little bit because 
a lot of people will be looking to play Kaprizov and Zuccarello. Now, I mentioned earlier when I was going through the line stacks that I do like that first line for the Florida Panthers tonight as well. Reinhard Verhage and Lusterinen, who you can see I got listed as a low-priced option. A good matchup here tonight at home against the New Jersey Devils, who have definitely started to slip up here as of late. They're now 0-5-1 in their past six games, allowing four goals per game, the third most in the NHL during that stretch, with a penalty kill that's hit at just a 78% rate. Now, I suspect we're going to see Reinhardt play on the number one power play here tonight, but they kind of have been shuffling some things in Florida as of late, so he could be down on the second power play. Either way, he's going to get some sort of time on the power play here tonight, but I do hope it's the first. He's been playing some really good hockey here over his past five games. You can see he's racked up five goals, three assists, eight points, with 15 shots on net over his past five. I think I JT Comfort there of the Colorado Avalanche, and I kind of like doing a little mini stack with him and Miko Rantanen, both on that first line and number one power play. Hell, even mix in a Kale McCarr who plays on that number one power play with them, and obviously just logs big minutes in general. Comfort here's been solid on that first line, isn't putting up the most numbers necessarily. One goal, three assists, four points in his past eight games. Again, ever since Nathan McKinnon went down, but I do like the way that he's shooting the puck here. 23 shots on net during that stretch, essentially averaging three per game, and I love the ice time that he's getting here. You can see he's logging over basically 22 minutes per game on that first line in number one power play, and again, I do like the matchup for the Avs in general here tonight at home against the Montreal Canadiens. And then I got Matt Duchesne there of the Nashville Predators, who have been shuffling their lines as of recent, too. Right now, it looks like Duchesne is playing on the third line, but playing up on the number one power play, and suspect he's going to get his normal ice time as well. Like the price here at $4,700, but even more so like the matchup here against the Chicago Blackhawks, who are 0-5 in their last five games, allowing five goals per game, most in the NHL during that stretch, with a penalty kill that's hit at just a 44.4% rate. That is tremendously low, just abysmal. So I do like the matchup, like I said, in general. And Duchesne's here been solid here over his past 10. Three goals, six assists, nine points in those 10 games. Now, moving over here to the defenseman, and I have no issue spending up for the defenseman position here tonight. I like Petrangelo, but I'd also pay up for Roman Yossi of the National Predators, again, considering how good that matchup is against Chicago, or Kale McCarr, who I mentioned earlier when talking about JT Comfer and Miko Rantanen. But I like Petrangelo here too, obviously. He is on the spreadsheet. Good matchup here at home tonight against the Arizona Coyotes. You could stack him up with that second line that I highlighted earlier. Even just do a three-man stack with Marcia So Smith and Petrangelo, being that those three play up on the number one power play. Petro's been really solid here over his past 10 games. You can see there two goals, eight assists, 10 points, averaging around three shots on net per game, and averaging close to two block shots per game as well, really racking up DraftKings points in a number of different ways. And really, that's the same play here with Miro Heiskanen of the Dallas Stars, stacking them up with forwards on that first line who all play on the number one power play. Again, in a solid matchup here tonight at home against the Edmonton Oilers. Take a look at Miro's numbers here over his past 10, two goals, seven assists, nine points, essentially averaging a point per game and averaging close to three shots on net per game as well. And this is a guy who logs massive minutes. You can see they're around 24 to 25 minutes per game. And then a defenseman who always flies under the radar is Devontae's of the Colorado Avalanche. And we're getting him at a really good price now here in the 4K range, especially considering he's back up on that first defensive pair with Kale McCarr right now. Anytime you're playing with the best defenseman in the NHL, you're going to have an opportunity to get on the score sheet. And that's what Devontae's does. 17 points in 28 games. Not someone who's going to get on the score sheet every night, but certainly capable of doing so and even having a multiple point night. You take a look here at his past 10 games. One goal, four assists, five points. Again, essentially averaging a half point per game. This is another guy who logs big minutes though. Plays around 24, 25 minutes per night. Gets time on the number two power play and plays on the penalty kill as well. And then I got a handful of honorable mentions there in the 2-3k to 3K range. You can see I got Shaq. Kirk of the Anaheim Ducks, Gross there of the Nashville Predators, Miramanov of the Vegas Golden Knights, Graves of the New Jersey Devils, Lindell of the
the Dallas Stars, Wallman of the Detroit Red Wings, and Girard of the Colorado Avalanche. And then I got a couple of goaltenders there for you, higher priced and lower priced options. Starting with Alexander Georgiev of the Colorado Avalanche. Already talked about how much I like the matchup at home tonight against the Montreal Canadiens. And Georgiev has been really solid for the Avalanche this year with a 13-6-2 record. He's got a goals allowed average of 2.46 and a save percentage of .923. He also has 6.8 goal save above expected, which ranks 14th of 79 qualified goaltenders this year. And then I got Vallejo so there of the Detroit Red Wings. This is purely a tournament or GPP play for me, but I do like the price at $7,300. He's now 11-6-5 on this season with the goals allowed average at 2.66 and a save percentage of .913. I talked about this last week. He's definitely had some highs and lows this year, but I do like his upside on the tournament side of things. Someone who can go for 25, 30 plus DraftKings points. And this is certainly a tough matchup here at home tonight against the Tampa Bay Lightning, but the Lightning are also playing on back-to-back -back nights, so I don't mind the matchup here for Husso. And as always, going to wrap up the spreadsheet here with three low-priced options or sub-4K forward plays, but not going to lie, everyone, the 2-3K to 3K range for forwards is pretty dicey here tonight. I really do like Ida Luce-Terrain in playing on that first line in number one power play for the Florida Panthers right now. He's essentially filling in for the Barkov role. He's by no means Alexander Barkov, but he is getting the same amount of ice time and opportunity, so I do like him at $3,600. But these next two plays here are very boom-bust type of plays. First is Thomas Novak of the Nashville Predators. Currently playing on that first line in number one power play right now. He could very well get bumped down to the number two power play. And like I said, it's purely an opportunity play though. He had one assist in his first game with the Preds this year. He has played in the NHL before, but was recently called up from the AHL. And did play 13 and a half minutes in that game and really didn't look all that bad. And then Michael Amadio there of the Vegas Golden Knights. I suspect he's going to be back up on the first line tonight. We saw him replace Phil Kessel on that first line about halfway through their last game. If it happens to be Phil Kessel, I certainly don't mind that either because I do like the matchup here tonight at home against the Arizona Coyotes. And then to wrap up this video here, want to talk a little prize picks with you guys. Seven game slate here tonight, but they only have props up for shots on goal and goalie saves right now. And my normal practice is to wait for all the picks to come out, do my research, and let you know my final picks in a comment below on this video. And I'll be sure to pin that comment as well. And don't forget, I am posting those picks in my Discord too. If you want to join that channel, there's a link to do so in the description below. Now, nothing official here right now, but I'll probably pick one of these Florida Panthers players over two and a half. Dylan Larkin at two and a half looks interesting as well. Again, a tough matchup at home here tonight against Tampa, but he's usually a guy who floats around the 3.0 or 3.5 number. And then Rope Hintz has just been playing some really good hockey as of late. So that is on my radar as well. But again, I'll let you know my final picks at some point here this afternoon. For those of you who have not signed up for prize picks yet though, and want to get in on this action, I got a promo code that you should definitely take advantage of. When you're signing up, use my promo code GRIFF, G-R-I-F-F, -F, and Price Picks will give you all the way up to a $100 match deposit. Now again, you do not have to put $100 in. You want to put in $50, they'll match $50. You want to put in $20, they'll match that $20. Again, as long as you're using my promo code GRIFF, G-R-I-F-F, -F, upon signing up. All right, everyone, that is going to wrap up this video here for today. As always, thank you all for taking the time out of your day to watch the content here on this channel. If you could like this video and subscribe to the channel, I would greatly appreciate that. Let's have ourselves a great day here, folks. Let's win some money on this seven-game slate. In the meantime, I'm out of here.